Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bugger Designs, and I'm gonna show you how to make this fun little carousel um, horse pouch. Um, it's a little birthday treat, and inside it has cotton candy flavored Pop Rocks. I found these on Amazon, I'll have them linked on my blog for you too, but I thought that was a fun little treat to go with our carousel horse. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is our stamping. So you're gonna need your horse and your the little pole that goes with it. We're gonna stamp them in Memento Black. And then we're gonna color them in with Stampin' Blends. All right, so we've got the horse. And we'll do the pole right there. All right, before we color in our horse we're going to add in the pattern um, for the saddle so i'm going to open up grab that piece and i'm using my stamparatus to get this in the perfect position so i'm going to line that up get it to the right place hopefully lay that down and let me grab my bone folder, hold that paper down. We're gonna stamp this in Pool Party. Okay, and we're just gonna stamp that little pattern right in there. Let me add a little bit more to make it a little bit darker. There we go. Okay, now, Let's color the rest of our little horse. Bring over my chair. We're gonna use first Fresh Freesia um, for the tail. And I'm just gonna use light to color in the whole thing. And then I'm gonna come back with my dark to add a little bit of shadow. Okay, and then let's get our dark and we'll just add in, I just kind of outlined these lines a little bit with the dark and it's gonna give us enough shadow variation. All right, now we'll do the same thing up here. We'll use our light. And then take the dark and add in some color. And here I'm just kind of adding it to each of those little lines and maybe a little bit right here. All right, now I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and Wink of Stella is a clear glitter brush. But when you use it on your ink, be careful because it will pick up those colors. But I kind of like it here because it's making, it's taking the pool party, picking it up a little bit and smearing it around just a tiny bit so that we have a little more color in there. All right, but the thing to remember is to brush it off first before you switch to another color in case it picks up some of that color. All right, so we'll give her some glittery sparkle on her hair. Um, one thing I'm gonna do is take my Pool Party Stamp and Blend and add color right there. Now for the pole that the horse is on, I'm gonna use Bubble Bath Dark. And I'm just gonna color in the top and then I'm going to just do every other little segment. This is where I need my glasses. It's a little bit tricky to color this in without them. All right, I think I did okay. And then I think I will take some of my Wink of Stella and add just a little bit down there as well. Okay, now for the sentiment, we're gonna stamp that onto Fresh Freesia cardstock. And we're gonna use um, 
white embossing powder and Versamark to emboss the outline of the banner. So I'm gonna use Versamark first, stamp. And we'll add some white embossing powder to it. Bring over your heat tool. Give it about 10 or 15 seconds to hit the right temperature and then it will turn kind of shiny and solid. I'm gonna stamp the happy birthday right in the middle in Highland Heather. Okay, now we're ready to die cut. So let's bring over our cut and emboss machine. This is Stampin' Up's die cut machine. It's awesome, I love it. It also comes in a little small machine that these dies will fit in. Um, I've got tape, post-it tape here on my dies to hold them in place so they don't slip. Let's see if we can get this one lined up. You wanna look at all the points, the, the uh, ear, the feet, the tail, the back, and make sure everything is centered. All right, and then we even have a banner for our, a banner die for our banner, our stamped banner. And I'm gonna use a, some post-it tape there as well. And let's run it through. Now, ahead of time, I have already cut out the circle from our new holographic paper. I'll show you that in just a sec. I thought that made a really fun, um, fun look for this project. If you haven't seen it, you need to look in the annual catalog under our specialty papers. It is a pack, it has three different colors of holograph paper. Let me get this for you so you can see it. See how that looks? Really fun, really kind of whimsical, which is great for this um, whole theme with the carousel horse. All right, now, I'm going to add a little bit of glue right there. And then we'll add our horse with a dimensional like that. And actually you want your horse to go up a little bit higher to leave room for that banner. Also a dimensional. And we'll put that right down here like that. Okay, now let's make our little pouch. This is a really an easy thing to make. You're gonna get a piece of bubble bath cardstock that measures four by 11, and we're gonna add two score lines to it, one at one inch and one at five and three fourths. All right. And the way that this folds up is you fold up the bottom part. Actually, I, the needs to be a little bit shorter, doesn't it? Let's, let's check those measurements. I think maybe it should be 10 inches instead of 11. So let's cut off a bit and see if we got it right. I have a free PDF for you. Let's try three fourths of an inch. I have a free PDF for you over on my blog. So make sure that you go and check it out. It will have the correct measurements on it for you. All right, let's see. Yep, that's much better. In fact, let's see, maybe even we need a little bit more. Let's see, maybe it is an inch that we need to cut off. All right, let's cut off just a little bit more. So it needs to be four by 10. Your um, score lines are still gonna be the same, one and five and three fourths. Now I'm gonna take some liquid glue and go along these edges of the shorter front part. And we're gonna fold that down. Now, while that's drying, I'm gonna bring this over here to my cut and emboss machine. Um, the Carousel Horses dies have a great scalloped 
border right here. And we're gonna use it right up here along the edge. And you're definitely gonna to wanna to use your post-it tape here to hold it in the right place, all right? So with the straight edge up, okay, with the straight edge up, we're gonna add that to there. And now we'll just run this through. And let's take it apart and see how we did. Made a little cute scallop on there. So now that's gonna fold over just like that. Okay, I've got some designer series paper. I think I'll use the polka dot side this time. This is the bubble bath DSP from the Suttles DSP pack. And it is four by three. And we'll slip our pop rocks in there like that. And this folds over and I've got some lemon lime twist ribbon. And the ribbon is just gonna hold it closed. So you wanna wrap that and tie your bow right up here at the top. There we go. Cut those ends off and last but not least, add your circle. And I'm gonna sandwich that ribbon with some dimensionals so that when the recipient unties it, they won't lose their ribbon, it won't fall off. And here is our cute little horse. I'm gonna kind of do it to the side, kind of angled like that. And there you go. Let's see, I need one more right here. There we go. How adorable. A really fun little birthday party treat or just a treat to keep on hand to give to somebody when it's their birthday. All right, everybody, thanks so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this project. I have four other Carousel Horses projects on my blog. Make sure you hop over there using the link here on YouTube to check them all out. Thanks, happy stamping, bye-bye.